Main article. Dark Apprentice. Who was he? It does not matter. He was broken and weak. You are already more powerful than he ever was. The Dark Apprentice and Darth Vader unknown to Starkiller. However, Darth Vader did indeed perfect the cloning procedure as shown by the progress made by the latest clone he activated. Like his clone, brothers, before him, this clone was also confronted by the imprinted memories and emotions of his template, particularly Marek's feelings for Juno Eclipse. In the early phase of his training, he was confused by the original Starkiller's memories and was unsure as to whether or not they actually belonged to him or someone else. His curiosity also caused him to wonder about how many clones were created before him, as well as what kind of person his progenitor was. Vader saw no reason to indulge any of the clones' questions with detailed answers, merely stating that the original Starkiller was a broken man and all that mattered was how many more would have to be created if the clone failed to complete his training. But as the clone progressed through his trials, the lead cloning technician was pleased to discover that the clone had developed the ability to compartmentalize his template's memories and distinguish them as separate from his own experience. As the clone reached the pinnacle of his training, Vader brought him to the chamber that contained Galen Marek's body. The Sith Lord had not only confirmed what the clone already knew to be true, but also revealed the fact that the clone had surpassed all of the failures that preceded him. By then, the clone had managed to free himself from Marek's emotions and proved it by striking down a Sith training droid that was impersonating Eclipse. By learning to hate his former self's weaknesses, the clone had essentially become Darth Vader's dark apprentice. When, Starkiller, his renegade counterpart, returned to Kamino with a rebel fleet, Vader ordered the apprentice to not interfere until he was needed, only then would his training be complete. The battle did not go according to plan. However, Darth Vader was defeated and captured by the other clone, with no interference from the Dark Apprentice. Prior to the battle, however, Starkiller received a vision of an alternate outcome, that involved the Dark Apprentice and what he would have done if Starkiller tried to strike down Vader.